That's a good question. A lot of us feel very intimidated when it comes time to writing a personal or a family history because, you know, frankly, most of us are not real professional writers. We're just not good at writing. Um, I know I'm not very good at writing, but what I have found is that I have learned by reading what others have written and listening to the way others have told their stories that I have I found that I'm really pretty good at storytelling and uh, I've been telling my grandkids stories and they and you know at first I wasn't that good at it but I've gotten really good at it so that they are enthralled by those stories and so uh, that those same things that applied in the storytelling apply in the histories and that is you add some interesting detail help the reader to be able to picture what's going on so that they feel like they're there they feel like they're in that location that they're you know you're adding your thoughts and your feelings so that they know what you were thinking when you were you know in the war or you know whatever the circumstance was that they know what it was like, what, what you felt like, what your thoughts were. And by adding some of that detail, that it just makes the history so much more interesting. It's not just dry facts, that it's, that it's really what happened and the, and the reader can picture it. They, they know the setting, they can see what it was like. They, they know what you know, great grandpa was like, what he wore, what, what you remember about this, what he smelled like when you gave him a hug or, or what, whatever the story is, make, add enough detail that someone can really picture what it was like. Um, but then don't get bogged down in the detail. Don't think that you have to you know, have a million adjectives in every paragraph because then that would, it just would destroy the flow of the book. Um, so add enough detail that it adds interest, they can picture it, and, uh, and then try it out on people. Um, you know, read some of those stories out loud to your family members or to somebody who, you know, is interested and cares about you. And, and get their feedback. You know, were they interested? Did they understand what was going on? And, and as you do that, you know, in segments in the book, you just go through and, and do that with segments of the book where you read it out loud to someone. And not only when you read it out loud, you'll hear what it says and that will help you in the writing. Um, but as you read it to somebody else, then they can give you some feedback and say, well, you know, I, would, I really wanted to know more about this part and you didn't say much about that. Can you add some more about that? Or they may say, you know, this part was a little bit too much. I, you know, you can cut back on that part and because it didn't need to go on and on about that because it was clear at the beginning. Or, or whatever feedback you get. And, and those kinds of things will really add a great deal to what will help make it interesting. Let me give one more, let me give one more tip, and that is that uh, uh, don't try to write it all in one writing. Write it and then edit it and edit it and edit it. And f you'll find that as you edit over several times that that will make a huge difference on how well it comes across. You'll be much more fluid. First time writing is going to be just get it on paper. Get it out. Get it on paper. And then edit it over and over again. And that will make it much more interesting. <music>